Okay, so I have a few more items to show you. Um, there are things that I don't think are totally, totally necessary when you're first starting out. There are things that I probably didn't use when I first started out. But now that I've started using them, I cannot go without them. So I still wanted to show you these items um, just in case you were interested in getting a little bit deeper into, <laughs> into makeup. So the first one I'm going to show you is a face primer. So face uh, primer is just used after a moisturizer. And basically it just helps form a barrier between your face and your foundation. So with that being said, it fills in your pores somewhat, which is what I use it for. And it can also control oil and make your foundation last longer. So the one that I like to recommend is actually the Monistat Chafing Gel Relief, pow I mean powder gel. And this is not marketed as a face primer, but it is a silicone based product. So, so a lot of the higher end face primers are basically um, are silicone based. And this, this feels just like some of the higher end product, um, primers that I've tried. So I really, really like this one. I use it mainly just to fill in my pores. It makes my makeup look better when I put it on. Next is an eyeshadow primer. And the one I have here is the ELF eyeshadow primer. ELF just stands for eyes, lips, face. And they sell ELF products at Target or you can buy it online at eyeslipsface.com. So eyeshadow primer is used to make your eyeshadow stay on longer without creasing. And I think it's a really important product to have. Um, I don't, the e.l.f. one is okay. Um, it's only a dollar. I really would recommend the Urban Decay Primer Potion, but that one is $20. So if you just want to try eye primer out, I definitely would say the e.l.f. because for a dollar it works well, but it's just, it's not my favorite. Um, and I do wear eyeshadow primer every single day that I wear eyeshadow because my lids are a little bit oily so if I don't use a primer it will crease on me. Next up, also for the eyes, will be a cream shadow or base. And this one that I have here is Maybelline Color Tattoo and it's just a cream eyeshadow. Uh, now with these type of cream eyeshadows you can use them alone just as an eyeshadow or you can use it underneath powder eyeshadows and it helps make the color more vibrant or also it helps the eyeshadows stick to your eyelid longer, kind of like a primer. But I still use a primer underneath these, but these are nice items to have. They're not expensive. And if you're looking for a um, cream eyeshadow, I think the Maybelline Color Tattoo ones are great. Okay, so for the face, if you're looking for a bronzer, um, I would suggest the CoverGirl Queen Collection Bronzer. I think this is like $7. And this is the only drugstore bronzer that I found that has been dark enough to actually show up on my skin tone to contour with. So I use this bronzer to contour here. I don't use it every day. But just to make my cheekbones stand out. So like I said, this is not something that you have to have. I just started wearing bronzer like couple months ago. <laughs> so it's not something you have to have, but if you are looking for a bronzer, I think the CoverGirl Queen ones are great. They come in three shades. This is the darkest, um, but they also have two lighter shades. Also for the face, if you want to try a highlighting product, I do recommend um, this one by e.l.f. It's called Gotta Glow. And a highlighter is just put here to also help highlight your cheekbones. So if you look on this side of my face, you can see how the light is shining there. That's because I have a highlighting product there. It draws light to your face there. And it just makes, it just helps with the sculpting of your face, really. It's not required, but I do like highlighters. So this is a really good one. It's only a dollar. You can buy it at Target. And then lastly, um, brushes. So... Brushes can be a little bit expensive, especially if you're going to MAC or somewhere like that. So I don't think you need to go out and buy a ton of brushes when you just start with makeup. The ones that I think are essential would be a face brush, like this. And the reason I recommend this one is because, number one, it's by e.l.f. It's only $3. And you can use this to put on foundation, or you can use it for um, powdering your face. I've used it for both. 
and I really like it. Next is a blush brush. So blush is one of those things that you have to apply with a brush. I mean, you can put it on with your fingers, but it's really hard to blend with your fingers. So I definitely recommend a blush brush. I think this is an essential brush. Um, this one that I have here is just a small one. It's from e.l.f. as well. It's only $3. And then as far as eyeshadow goes, um, for the longest time I applied my eyeshadow with my fingers. And you can do that. But if you want to try brushes, the two types that I would recommend would be a flat shader brush like this. And that's just used to pat on the eyeshadow. And you can also use it to highlight your brow area. And then a uh, fluffy blending brush like this. And this is used, I usually use this in the crease and to blend out, to blend my shadows together. So um, this one is from e.l.f., costs a dollar. And then this one is from Eco Tools. I'm not sure exactly how much this costs, but Eco Tools brushes can be found in the drugstore. They're eco friendly and they're relatively cheap. So I really would suggest those brushes as well. So that's it for my starter makeup kit. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this helped you. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And please press the like button if you like this video. And press the subscribe button if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.